Morning guys, it is Monday morning. Um, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, but I gotta be totally honest with you, I feel like shit. Um, just dropped Lucky off at school. Caitlin's at home on the couch with a bit of a tummy bug. Um, so my auntie Lisa is looking after her. Um, just why I sort out a few bits and pieces down the street. But um, yeah, it's been uh, a really big day yesterday, had great fun, but yeah, today, I think both mentally and physically, I just feel like crap. Um, sorry to put it down on a Monday morning, but maybe it's Monday-itis, <laughs> who knows. I'll, uh, I'll go and grab a coffee and uh, see if we can turn this around. Hey guys, it is Monday morning. Uh, after we dropped the kids off at school, Miss Caitlin is home from school because she's not feeling overly well. Um, had a shower this morning and had a look down and realised that there's more of my hair in the plug hole than what there is of Kylie's. So I have a bit of a thing about when my hair goes patchy, it looks stupid. So the second I start to see it start to fall, we may as well just get rid of the whole lot. So Miss Caitlin, my little sweetie is going to help me. I'm doing that because I scratched myself there and it's bleeding and I don't know if you guys can see it, but don't worry about that. Miss Caitlin is going to shave my hair for me. So take it away, hairdresser, Miss Caitlin. You know what you're doing? Yeah. Neither do I. Let's go. Is it working? Okay. Yeah, we've um that is really making me paranoid. Not you, Speedy. Um when my hair's got patchy before, it just looks really stupid and I'm not really one for wearing hats, so it's easier just to shave it all up and then it's out of the way. It's not prolonging the process. It's all going to fall out eventually, so we may as well just... Sometimes it falls out all, sometimes it falls out chunks, sometimes it gets really thin. Either way, it looks really stupid. And not that I'm vain or anything like that. It's not that I've got a very nice looking bald head, but anywho. Let's give it a crack. How are we going, Caitlin? Good. Good. Why don't you do the front bit here? Go from like there and go all the way back. Okay. Right. Can I have a turn? Let's let Dad go all Britney Spears for a second. Yeah, Britney Spears shaves her head. Britney Spears shaves her head? Yeah. Does she? Um, yeah, she shaves her head. Does it? Yeah. Do you guys have any idea how hard this is to do with the video with the camera? Luckily, it has gone top. It's like they look in my hand. Holy crap. I didn't think we'd actually be going back to this again, but such is life, eh? Yeah, you still have the bandanas. Yeah, lucky we still got my bandanas. We might have to break out the bandanas. I know where they are. It's going to be 30 tomorrow. Guys, I just wanted to fill you in on, in the vlogs a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned uh, a couple that 
had looked into alternative treatments and blah 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 and we helped them get into the Royal Melbourne Hospital and hopefully we were hoping for a really good result. Um, unfortunately um, that hasn't been a good result. Um, he is in pal, pal care at the moment um, and they're sort of expecting sort of any day now. Um, but that's not really something. I'm yet to find a doctor that can measure that properly or accurately, for want of a better term. But something that something that I sort of got out of it today was uh, this guy's family have his mum, his brother, his haven't spoken to him in so long, and they leave it to now when he's semi-conscious to come and call it whatever you will, appease their sense of guilt, uh, I don't know, I don't know these people personally so I shouldn't say personal things about them, so, but, I don't know it's a cliche that you shouldn't, you should always let the people around you know how you feel about them all the time, every day, but in life things happen, in reality things happen, and we don't always do that, but I do get in my soapbox for a second here. I do think it's a, it's a really big crock about how when somebody does become terminally ill, all of a sudden you have a parade of people that come and say hi and do their thing and make themselves feel better and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, okay, people do things that deal with things in their own way and, and in their own personal way and I totally get that. I really do. But I just... Not that I'm going anywhere anyways, any, not that I'm going anywhere anytime soon, but that would really, really tick me off. Like, like people come to visit just because it's the last opportunity to do it. Um, yeah, like, this guy's been sick for a while, and, well, he's been sick for a couple of years now, and they leave it till now to come and say, whatever they need to say and as I said it's a personal thing people do things for their own reasons I me personally I don't understand it um, and I certainly wouldn't want that to happen with me like it's almost like a like a like a parade a parade of people that you haven't seen or heard of in all this time and look I get phone calls from people that I haven't heard from in a long time and ring up and they ask how I'm going and they ask all the right questions and blah 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 and I'm sure that makes them feel better and that's great if that if that makes them feel better that's good um, but yeah me personally I just think that if if people just that doesn't mean that you have to run around the world telling everybody you love them but um, if you let people know that you care like that you're going to be, that you're there for them, and all that sort of stuff. Like, if you've got some solid mates that you know that you can depend on, and all that sort of stuff, that's pretty much all you need. Um, but yeah, and I suppose I, I don't know. Is it, is it guilt? Is it, is it is it people feel obligated? Do people feel guilty that they haven't made an effort, or or is it a traditional thing? It's a tradition to I know like some cultures yeah display the body and blah 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 blah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's just my 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 mumbled jumbled thoughts of this afternoon. I just found it really really bizarre. Anyway. Yeah, leave me, if you have any ideas or or even even cool ways that in your last few days you want people to do stuff, leave it in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear it. Because me, myself, I'm not sure. I know I don't want to parade, but um, and as I said, I'm not going anywhere any, anytime soon. So let's, not, let's, let's take that card off the table. Anyway, all right, I'll talk to you guys later on. Be good. Bye. Well guys, it is Monday night, the end of the day, about 7.30, um, been a, a quiet-ish sort of day, had a friend drop in and say hi, uh, haven't noticed from, of course you noticed earlier in the video, you've seen me shave my head, 
and my eyebrows are starting to look a bit dodgy. Um, but that sort of stuff happens on these big jobs. Anyway, just wanted to say have a good night, and we will talk to you tomorrow.